Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about hypertension in older adults. These are my outlines, so I'm going to talk about what is hypertension, the causes of hypertension in older adults and treatment. So, hypertension is, defi is de defined as forces exerted by the blood on the walls of the arteries. Hypertension is long and short term high blood pressure. It is written as systolic over diastolic. These are the blood pressure classification. The normal one is between is the 120 over 80. And high normal, which is called prehypertension, is between 120 to 139 over 80 to 89. And these are the grades of hypertension, grade 1, grade 2, and grade 3. So, hypertension and mortality. Hypertension is a major contributing factor in mortality. It contributes in 10.6% of all male deaths and 15.1% of all female deaths. And it affects around 29% of the whole population in Australia. What are the risk factors? There are many lifestyle risk factors such as obesity, high consumption of alcohol, physical inactivity, and nutrition. In nutrition, I mean high intake of salt, low fruits and vegetables, and high intake of saturated and trans fat. There are other factors such as stress and smoking. But what are the specific causes in older, in older adults? Aging. With aging, blood vessels become uh, less and less elastic. That will increase stiffness in aorta and vessels, and consequently increase resistance against the blood flow, and the blood ability to expand and dilate will be reduced. In addition, aging increases fat tissues that cover the blood vessels from inside, which narrows the vessel's uh, diameter. And also, nitric oxide reduces with aging, which increases uh, stiffness. There's genetic factors, and it was hypothesized that, that leptin may be associated with hypertension in older adults. As leptin decreases, a risk of hypertension increases. What are the treatments? There are three types of treatments, nutrition, drugs, and exercise. In nutrition, there's a diet called DASH diet, which means dietary approaches to stop hypertension. This diet is low in salt, fat, red meat, sugar, and sugar beverages, and high in fruits, vegetables, and low, low fat dairy products. Drugs such as beta blockers, and I want to focus on exercise, and specifically, I would like to focus on aerobic exercise. Why I focus on aerobic ex exercise? Because aerobic exercise is effective, safe, and approachable, especially for older adults. There are two methods of aerobic exercise, continuous and interval. Continuous means steady level of intensity throughout exercise. Interval means alternating between high level of intensity and low level of intensity during exercising. What are the benefits of adopting aerobic exercise? But aerobic exercise reduces systolic and diastolic blood pressure, especially for older adults who suffer from high blood pressure, reduces weight, increases VO max, increases kidney, lung, and heart function, increases glucose and insulin control, and also increases quality of life. But there are many studies show that interval training may be more effective than continuous at reducing systolic and diastolic blood pressure, at increasing VO max, at reducing arterial stiffness, and at increasing muscle strength in older people. These are some studies comparing between interval and continuous exercise. So this study shows that the group who adopted interval training showed more 
reduced in systolic and diastolic blood pressure and more increase in VO max. But here in this study, they concluded that no significant difference between continuous and interval uh, training. But in the, tra in the interval, they showed that VO max have been improved. This study shows that arterial stiffness have been decreased in, in, the, uh, in the interval training group. And this study also showed that interval exercise improves knee extension and flexion forces and improves legs muscles in elderly. So what are the recommendations? Here, we would like to, to say that if you want to do continuous training or interval training, the duration or frequency would be three days per week, start with 15 minutes per session, and then add five minutes per week until you reach 30 to 60 minutes per session. In the continuous, the intensity would be between 50 and 70% and of heart rate. In the interval, the intensity would be between 40 and 70% of heart rate. The instruction for continuous. The activity is performed at continuous for the at continuous rate of heart rate, at continuous of heart rate, for example, for 60% of heart rate for the entire exercise. While in the interval, the activity that is performed at lower heart rate for three minutes and then gradually increase the intensity to achieve higher heart rate, for example, 70. So for three minutes, three minutes low heart rate and then gradually increase the heart rate to, uh, for three minutes and then alternate between high and low heart rate. The progression here, five to seven days per week, 30 to 60 minutes per session. And don't forget to warm up and cool down. Why? Because warming up before the exercise and cooling down after the exercise that prevent sudden changes in, in heart rate. There are some considerations before you do the exercise. Physical assessment and monitoring is very important, especially for men and women who are aged between uh, 45 and 55 uh, old, uh, year, old years, uh, years old. Sorry. And the heart rate, if your heart rate at resting is between 180 over 110, so you have to, to, you know, to, to go for physical assessment. And also, people who take medications such as beta blockers and diuretics, and people who suffer from chronic diseases need to do physical assessment before uh, they go to the gym or do the exercise. You have to stop. There are some conditions that you have to stop exercising. For example, if your systolic blood pressure drops more than 10, if your systolic blood pressure only rises more than 20 to 30 after starting the exercise, if your blood pressure raises more than 250 over 115, in that cases, you have to stop exercising. And if you experience chest pain or uh, shortness of breath, okay, in uh, that case you have to stop exercise. These are my recommendations. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.